Story time with Mrs. Caitlin. Who made the world? By Caitlin Homick and FLA Pupils. Chapter 7. Do all people believe in the existence of God? There are so many wonderful things around us working in marvellous as well as logical ways. Every little thing has its wisdom and purpose. We might wonder, for example, why we need annoying insects without actually realising that without insects there would be no life on earth. Do you ever think about how marvellously perfect the world around us is? No perfect system can develop by accident. We all know that a house, for example, cannot just appear out of nowhere. It's not possible for the wind to mix water and clay and mould them into bricks and for the sun then to dry those bricks and for the wind blow them into a perfectly measured wall. The sun then purposely melt the sand and mix it together with so soda and lime in order to produce glass windows. Metal does not miraculously rise from the soil to become drainage pipes for the house. If we cannot believe that a house could just appear and evolve like this, then how can we believe that a perfect system like a human eye or an ear could evolve by mere accident? The majority of people who have ever lived in the world do believe that the same world has been created by God. Only a minority of humankind do not believe in God in any way. They believe that everything in the world has evolved by itself, by accident. As these people do not believe in divine authority, they try to figure out by themselves what is good and what is bad. Sometimes they are right, sometimes they are wrong. Sometimes they do good, sometimes they do bad. They are not stupid. They might even be extremely smart, but they could never be as wise as God, who is the creator of everything and thus knows everything about everything. God is never wrong, but humans can be mistaken. People who do not believe in God try to do everything in their capacity to be happy. They only follow laws created by themselves or other people. As they do not believe in the existence of God, they never ask God for help or guidance. Sometimes they feel very lonely because of this. The one who believes in God is never alone. People who do not believe in God do not believe that God could bring them back to life after their death. That is why they are really scared of death. For them, there is nothing after death, and that is a scary thought indeed. They think that after they die, they will just sleep under the ground forever and ever. People who believe in God know that there is nothing permanent about death. It's like we go to sleep to wake up on the day of judgment. Death is like a door that takes us from our little home to the huge outside world. People who do not believe in God do not understand why sometimes things that we don't like happen. They think that they can do bad things when the police don't see them. They do not realize that God can see everything. Besides the people who do not believe in God at all, there are also people in this world who believe there are many gods. There are people who believe there is a forest god and a water god and a sky god and a field god and a fire god, and many, many other gods and goddesses. These people 
often worship the gods they believe in through stones, trees, statues, sun, moon, and other things. God does not like that because he's our creator and he wants us to love and worship him. He wants us to understand that there is only one God who has created everything and everyone in this world, including you and every string of hair on your head. Barakallahu feek for listening.